Hello and welcome to Image Me Academy series, the series where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. If you want to learn more about this app created by Skylum Software, make sure that you visit our website cleverphotographer.com. For now, grab your phone, put on the app, we are about to start. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Image Me app. The Image Me is an AI powered photo editing application designed for Android and Apple devices. The application designed by Skylum, the team behind Luminar and Aurora HDR series brings some of its most popular AI tools to allow photographers to use them on their mobile devices. The interface is built on an easy navigation that allows you to quickly edit your photo and share it with the rest of the world in the best possible quality. Now, first of all, let's talk about how you can get the ImageMe app. The application can be downloaded from Google Play and App Store for Android, iPhone and iPad. It is available to try for free for seven days after which it can be purchased outright or subscribed with weekly and yearly plans available. Skylum also offers unique plans for customers who own one of their current photo editing software. Looking at the purchase options, there is the free 7-day trial. After that, you can choose between weekly subscription for $3, yearly subscription for $20, or the lifetime purchase for $40. To start, you need to download the app from a Google Play or App Store and then make your decision on the purchase in the app on the opening screen. And now it's finally time to open the app and look at some of its basic features and controls. The first thing we're going to do is to open an image. Once the app is open, you can import a new image by tapping on the plus sign in the top left corner of the menu. The application will open a library view of the images available on your phone. After this, you can select one. The image will open with the sky replacement or the enhanced AI tool, depending on the subject. At the current moment, the ImageMe app supports the following file formats. JPEG, JPEG 2000, PNG, TIFF, DNG and PSD. Now, before we're going to continue, let's go back to the library view, which includes a letter icon on the top right corner of the screen. This icon can be used to contact the app support through an email form. Finally, when it comes to exporting image, you can export and share the final result by tapping the export button in the top right corner of the menu. Once selected, the app will open with a standard sharing window and you can save or share your image from here. The exported file, depending on the original image, will be in 8 bits, sRGB, JPEG format, with 300 ppi resolution. Now moving on, looking at controlling of the app. The ImageMe app focuses on simple and intuitive controls, so the most tools are controlled with sliders and buttons. There is a little tip here, to reset any slider, simply double tap on it. Now starting from the beginning, we're going to be looking at the main menu. The main menu is at the bottom of our screen with all the tools on it. Once a tool is selected, it can be reaccessed by tapping the Tools button at the bottom of the screen. The menu also includes the option to add and export your image, as I showed you earlier. Once we open any of the tools, we can zoom in and zoom out by pinching on the picture. To reset the view, once again, you simply double tap on the image. Once you apply, any of the edits, you can also access the before and after. This is simply available by tapping the image inside of the editing tool. And now, before we're going to finish, it's time to introduce you to the ImageMe tools. 
First of all, you have the Sky Replacement Tool. The Sky Replacement Tool allows you to seamlessly replace the sky and adds reflection to any body of water to create a realistic look. Once the sky is replaced with one of the 45 skies available in the app, you will get access to the additional tools that will allow you to fine-tune the result and adjust the orientation and mask of the new sky if needed. Next, the Remove Power Lines tool is helpful for automatically removing unwanted objects like power and foam lines from the sky of landscape photo. You can get a clear image with a simple slide across the screen. The result can be adjusted further with the help of the Erase tool. That brings us nicely to the Erase tool. The Erase tool lets you quickly remove unwanted objects or details from your photos directly on your phone. All you need to do is to adjust the brush size with the simple slide and brush over the unwanted areas. If you accidentally select and erase areas you no longer want, you can switch your brush into the restore mode and brush over the areas you want to bring back. Moving on to the next tool which is called Enhance AI Tool. This tool harnesses the power of artificial intelligence to enhance your photo. This tool automatically analyzes and instantly corrects your image while still offering control over the final correction amount. This tool is an excellent starter for many photos as it instantly improves the color quality, details and tones. Moving on to the portrait part of the app where you can adjust the skin with the Skin AI tool. And the Skin AI tool analyzes an image and detects up to 5 people. It then automatically enhances and retouches their skin. Depending on the setting, the tool can also remove skin defects including acne, freckles and moles. The amount of the effect can be controlled with a simple intuitive slider. After that, the Body AI tool completes the portrait editing tools with the possibility to shape a subject torso and abdomen with two simple sliders. The shape slider slims or adds volume to the subject torso and the abdomen slider pinches in a subject abdomen to remove the volume. After that, we have the popular filters tool. The ImageMe app allows you to quickly change your photo's appearance with its 100 LUT-based filters. The built-in filter collections offers various photography styles, including black and white, landscape, portrait, food, and animal photography. On top of it, each filter can be adjusted with a simple amount slider to control the intensity of the effect. The last two tools include Adjust Tool and Crop Tool. The Adjustment Tool contains the essential controls for adjusting the image appearance. It includes exposure, contrast, shadows, highlights and saturation controls that can be adjusted with a simple slider. And finally, the Crop Tool allows you to adjust the photo's composition, crop and perspective. The tool offers ratio, horizon and rotate and flip adjustments. For today, we are finished. But don't worry, we have so much more content covering ImageMe app and Luminar Neo on our YouTube channel. Make sure you check one of these videos and continue learning and improving your photography skills.